Africa Day is also about cultural festivals, conferences, um, as well as actions to combat such ills as xenophobia. To talk more about Africa's identity and the role of the arts and artists on the continent, I'm now joined by a member of the Pan-African Center of Arts and head of the Windbrow Arts Center here in Johannesburg. Her name is Geitulitzi Gwanga. Good evening. Thanks very much um, for coming coming through. Uh, well, as an, as an artist and an activist, yes. um, what does Africa Day mean to you? Um, in my personal capacity, I don't think there should be an Africa Day in Africa <laughs> because we are Africans and every day should be Africa Day. I don't think that we should have a specific day to celebrate ourselves. We should recognize other spaces, but every day we should work towards our goals, our missions. And if we take uh, time to um, recognize one another, it is specifically to look at the challenges that we have as a people and set aside time to recognize how far we have come and how much we still have to go. So Africa Day is is a mix of all of that, but then it's giving ourselves time to celebrate, it's giving ourselves time to see our achievements and also discuss where we are and what we still have to do. Let's discuss uh, where uh, we are. What do you think um, we should be celebrating today? Today I feel we should celebrate our identity. We should celebrate the journey that we have taken. It is Africa Liberation Day. Um, as, as much as we feel we have um, come this far and we have a right to celebrate our freedom, there's still spaces in Africa, there's still countries that need um, liberation, that need us to intervene in those spaces. Um, I feel we have a right to celebrate our freedoms, to come together, to share our identities, our culture, to learn about the path that we have taken, to learn the different cultural um, um, beauty we have, the, our which diversity. Countries, which countries need to be liberated and what are the issues there? Definitely DRC, definitely uh, South Sudan, but my, my passion lies strongly in the Western Sahara and the Saharawi people. Um, I was in Tindufa, I know of the plight of the Saharawi people and being in the desert for 40 years essentially, um, being separated from your country. Uh, by a wall that's almost 2,000 kilometers long, which is essentially the second longest or biggest wall in the world, um, and the, the biggest uh, space in, in the world that has landmines. Um, not a lot of people have knowledge about Western Sahara. A lot of South Africans are not even conscious that this is essentially the last colony. What should we be doing, or what can be done? Well, I, well, I think there's a much intervention to be done. I think the um, United Nations has uh, a, a say, and I think the AU has a responsibility in intervening. I feel that, yes, as a continent, we have, this is the 55th anniversary of the creation of the AU. It is very important. The um, legacy of the heads of state across the continent is immense, it is enormous. And yes, we have 2063 to look forward Forward to, um, but I feel towards. and work towards. But I feel there's not a level of accountability that we put upon our leaders. Um, I feel there is a lot of issues that get slipped slipped under the carpet. I feel that there is a lot of corruption that goes in into different states. It's too easy to buy a people. The one thing we should be celebrating today. The one thing we should be celebrating is our cultural identity and the work that we have done and are doing towards claiming our spaces, towards writing our stories, um, towards expressing ourselves freely as Pan-Africanists and Africans across the diaspora and being able to, yeah, to just be ourselves. Thank you very much for coming through this evening. Thank you very much.